fantastic feeling up there. Yeah, it's like sitting inside history. Did you sign the guest register? Yes, thank you. Come again. Cut that out. Cut it out. Hey, I'm entitled to leave my mark. It's 296 steps up and 296 steps down. Don't you got any respect? Respect for what? What are you, some kind of squares? Men died here. There's nothing square about that. Beat it. Ah, come on. Well, I didn't think people cared anymore. Your first trip to Boston? Yes, we're just uh, passing through. Are you a visitor, too? No, I live in Boston. I often come here. You must be even more upset by uh... vandalism. That's one of the reasons I come. Whenever I find myself in moments of weakness, giving in to feelings of faith in mankind, I come here. I see the desecration of this shrine. Then I remember again what people really are. Permit me to introduce myself. I'm John Westerbrook. Todd Stiles. Forgive the idiosyncrasy. I never shake hands. What are your names? Stiles. I'm Murdoch. Murdoch. Stiles. Good names. Good American names. Buzz Murdoch. I'm Todd Stiles. You're sure? Yes. Thank you. You're planning more sightseeing then? Oh, yeah, this is our first stop. We're going to Lexington and Concord. And, and uh, don't forget old Ironsides. That's right. Then you must allow me to be your guide. All right. No, no, I insist. I know the landmarks quite well. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Not at all. You haven't met my associates. Mr. Van Ness, Mr. Davis, Mr. Williams. Hi. Have your car here? Yes, sir. Uh, it's right down that street. Good, then you can follow me. I'll pick you up at the corner. Say, you. I beg your pardon? Well, I was only going to say that your name seemed familiar to me. In what connection? When I was in college, the American history text was Henry Westerbrook, my father. I had him for a living text. You'll follow us then. Thank you. Boy, this is some guided tour you got us into. At least it ought to be interesting. I wonder what happened to his hand. I'm not worried about that. Why does Westerbrook need a bodyguard? That's what I want to know. Is that what Davis is? Come on, don't put me on. A shoulder holster in broad daylight? What gives with this guy? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Get a load of that. That's Westerbrook's car? As I said, this ought to be interesting. T-I-L-E-S and M-U-R-D-O-C-K Murdoch. Uh, apparently they're from New York. Now they're driving a uh, gray sports car, New York license, uh, 2D7876. Uh, they're both in their early 20s. Now Monitor wants to know who they are, bloodlines and origins, as quickly as possible. I don't have a lot to go on. 
Tell him I know that. Yeah, listen, Monitor's aware. I just want you to understand that this is going to take a little time. Yes, we understand. I'd like to find out they were friends. It would be nice if the world were like that, but it isn't. You can't have me all to yourself, Amelia. The inner circle will grow. There'll be other friends. Those of us who love you have a stake in your welfare. Welfare? Would you have let me do this? country in the world preserves the marks of its greatness through the centuries. We throw away our past before it's hardly born. Everything must immediately be replaced by something new. Not necessarily better, merely newer. When I think how this great ship was discarded to be saved by a single poem and the pennies of school children. I could kill. However, there's a great deal more to see. Mr. Boris, Emery Williams. I've checked Monitor on your query about the mailing list. Well, he thinks 12,000 for the Dallas area would be a good beginning. Naturally, he doesn't want you hampered by money worries, so uh, we're sending out a check this afternoon for $2,500. Away from America. began. The first shot in the American Revolution was fired here, April 19, 1775. The Boston Massacre and the Tea Party had already happened. The Minutemen were already hiding muskets, bullets, cannon, here in Lexington. And the British were under orders to confiscate them. So the enemy began their match on the night of April 18, 1775. The Minutemen had already gathered there, in that tavern, to await the word. And it came. It came. At 10.30 that night, two lanterns were hung in the steeple of the old North Church in Boston. That was the signal. And down that road came a man on horseback, our first and perhaps our greatest hero, Paul Revere. He risked his life to sound the warning. The British are coming, he said, and the people listened. Do you see the spot? Right there they waited. A hundred odd brave men, knowing they'd be outnumbered forward to one. And their commanding officer sounded a battle cry. Stand your ground, he said. Don't fire unless fired upon. But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here. Those were men. Sometimes I find communication painful. Will you forgive me if I move on alone? Bye. I like you both. If you wish to see me again, please do so. If you need help, money, advice, power of any sort, call on me. Let me 
ask you something. I know what money and advice are, but what's power of any sort? 